I promise you that you'll never meet another person as mentally tough as you in your entire life. And he hasn't. And he never will.
been doing a thing. What's good with y'all? What is up with everybody? Now, real quick. Shout out to everybody that's joining the Patreon. Yes, the Patreon will be lit tonight. I just finished up a catalog of videos I wanted to drop specifically for bad breakups, specifically for dating, and specific, specifically for the youth. Younger men between the ages of 16 to probably 24. I just did a full catalog because a lot of younger brothers want to know my opinions on younger women. So I just did a catalog for, for my younger brothers between the ages of 16 to like 25. Because I still feel like you're still growing in those early years. I don't fully believe that you are a soul man. And if you're 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, just like I don't believe a woman is the full potential to be a woman at 20, 19, you know, 18, 21, 24. So I did a catalog for my brothers. It's going to be dropping on Patreon tonight. Give it some time because they all are uploading. It's a lot of videos going to be dropping on Patreon. So the tier that's already sold out is the $5 tier. You can join the 10, the 20, the 50, and the 100 tier. Now, what's good, everybody? This your girl, China White. And you just entered the lion's den with your girl, China White. Grab your drinks. Let baby girl light your cigar. See, you are in for one hell of a night with your girl, China White. Shout out to all the cash apps, super chats. Shout out to all my cash out fam. I just modded you. Cousin White, quick question. Why is Thuggo in the righteousness man? It's called Damn by Bride. I don't know. That's you gotta hit me up on Patreon, fam. You gotta hit me up on Patreon. Hit me up on Patreon so we can have that conversation. Because you asked me a question the other day, and I asked you to hit me up on Patreon or Instagram. Hit me up, fam. Shout out to YouTube cameras. And um, fam, I just modded you up. I just modded you up, fam. Shout out to YouTube cameras. That's my boo. I love you, baby girl. I will be on the mindset of the black woman tonight. The mindset of the black woman is the girlfriend to the lion's den. So you're going to get all the attraction. You're going to get you're going to get all the all the attraction information you need to understand about women. You're going to get all the lust, all the sex to better understand the woman's psyche when it comes to fantasy and desire and attraction. A lot of people can't break that down. They can't break down attraction. They can't break down desires what women actually de they cannot break that shit down. That's what that channel is for, fam. The, the mindset of the black woman is to break down lust, fantasy, attraction, desire in a woman's mind. Things that we crave from men. And women understanding men in the bedroom. How, to, how can a woman drop those walls down to better enjoy herself in the bedroom with a man? That's what the mindset of the black woman is about. If, if you have not been to the mindset of the black woman one of the minds drop that link to that channel because it's a lot of gems over there to better understand the woman's psyche and sex sex fantasy attraction lust all of that is on the mindset your girl got talent around this bitch i wear many hats understand what i'm saying i wear many hats so let's get into this and fam, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram, fam. So, the truth about women. Let's get clear about some things when it comes to women in a woman's nature. Let's make some things clear. You do not you do not have to accept a woman based on the way she treats you. A woman is going to treat you the way you treat yourself. And the way a woman behaves, you don't try to change her. You understand that she's this type of woman. You understand that. 
because through her history and through her past and through the men she dated and through her father and through her mother, she shapes her reality through you, the man, right? We about to get into it because I don't want brothers to be discouraged by the way a woman behaves. And when you try to change a woman, putting in time, energy, and effort in a woman that don't like you. Understanding she could be behaving this way through her past, but do she recognize who you are as a man? The way you carry yourself. Do you understand that? So we're going to break some things down. And Maz, I don't want any trolls in here. We blocking on site. I don't want no trolls in here. Period. Class is in session. If you can't pay attention to what the fuck I'm talking about, then you don't want to fucking be here. If you don't want to pay attention, if you don't want to, you know, this is class. Have your pen, your paper, your book bag. You're supposed to be ready to study. You're supposed to be ready to ace this test. You're supposed to be ready to write down your notes so you can go over your notes. This is class. So if you don't want to be in class, go find somebody else that can tickle your fancy. Because it's not your girl, China White. I ain't on this bitch to tickle nobody fucking fancy. I ain't trying to stroke your ego. I ain't trying to make you feel good. I ain't trying to do any of that shit. We getting down to the nitty gritty. And if you don't got your pen and your paper, you ain't ready for class. Just fail. Just drop out. Drop out. Give up. So, number one, a woman will change any narrative to fit her reality, even if she's delusional. If you're dealing with a woman and she's delusional, she's going to find any narrative to fit her reality she's going to do that she's going to do that even if it doesn't make sense it doesn't matter because in her mind the the the, the fantasy that she's craving it has to be a reality to her even if it's a fantasy even if it's delusional even if it don't make sense she has to find someone, somebody, or some type of information to fit her narrative. So if she is upset with you, if she's mad with you, if she's not getting what she wants, she's going to find information to fit her narrative, even if it's delusional. Why do you think a lot of women are delusional today? They are delusional because they go out and they search out information to fit their narrative, even if she's delusional. You got other women that will co-sign other women bullshit. I'm going to co-sign her bullshit. Because I have to find something that's going to fit my narrative in my relationship. I got to find somebody or some type of information to co-sign what I'm saying because I'm not happy with what I'm seeing which is my reality so I'd rather be delusional she's gonna do that she's gonna do that she's gonna find anything that fits her delusional mindset and the other women that co-sign her are delusional as well. That is why you never try to lead and teach and guide a hyena. They can't be taught. They don't understand it. Because what makes sense to them is whatever feels good. Whatever feels good. So it's okay if I say this. It's okay if I do this. It's okay if I act this way. It's okay because I found somebody that will co-sign my bullshit. I don't co-sign bullshit. I don't eat it. I don't, I don't want to smell it. So when it comes to women and their delusional mindset, you leave her be. You never try to change her mind. You 
a lot of men try to spend time, energy, and effort trying to change a woman's mindset. If she's not taking to you, if she's not trying to embody you, if she's not trying to learn from you, she cannot be taught. That's why I don't waste my time trying to get men to understand the succubus mindset. You treat her the way she treats herself. That's it. You, that's And that's going to save you time, energy, and effort when it comes to dealing with a delusional woman. Because she's going to always find the shortcut. She's going to always find the shortcut. Doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what people say. If I can find that one person to co-sign my bullshit, that's my reality. Even if it's delusional. Even if it's delusional. Even if it don't make any sense. She's going to try to find somebody to co-sign her bullshit. That is why I talk about I'm not trying to teach no hoe. I'm not trying to teach no strike. I'm not trying to teach no woman because she doesn't want to be taught. She just wants somebody to co-sign her bullshit. That's it. That's all she wants. She wants somebody to tell her that she's right even when she's wrong. And notice, when you tell them when they're wrong, that is when they get evil. That is when they get mad. That is when they hate you. That is when they hate you. They wish you was dead. They wish you was gone. They wish bad things happened to you. Because now you're giving her the mirror. She has to look herself in the fucking mirror. And that's something a lot of women don't want to do. You let her sit in her vomit. You let her sit in her vomit. You don't try to change the strat. Try to teach her a hyena. It doesn't matter with this type of woman. She would never learn. She would never want to learn, especially from a man. When women, a lot of women, females, when they view men, they view men as power. They want that power. So how do a woman get that power that a man possess? Because he's a man. The man is the head. When women look at men, we see men as power. So a woman in her mind, she's trying to figure out, how do I get that power? That is when she pulls out all the stops. Okay, is it my pussy? Is it the way I talk? Is it the way I look? What, what can I do to gain access to that power? That's something every man should understand. You should understand that. If you a man, you should understand that you have power and it's women that get around you that want it. How a woman gets power from a man is conquering a man. Conquering him. Belittling him. Getting you on all fours like a dog. Breaking you down, getting you in an emotional mindset, getting you to second guess yourself and getting you to second guess the relationship. No. Why are you doing that? When you know when women look at you, it's something you have that they want. And a lot of times it's not even money. It's not even money. A lot of times it's getting you to kneel to authority. So if a woman can get you to kneel to authority, you're actually submitting to the woman do you understand that i want to make sure you understand what i'm saying if she can get you to kneel to authority which is her either through pussy either through sex either just manipulation manipulating if she can get you to somehow kneel to authority, she got you to submit to her. And whatever she says and whatever she does, you submit. Which means that she's the dominant and you're the submissive. That's what that means. So, a woman will change any narrative to fit her reality even if it's delusional that is very big that is very big what that tells you is that 
It doesn't matter you going to therapists. It doesn't matter you going to your pastor. It doesn't matter you going to your father. It doesn't matter you go to her father. It doesn't matter if you talk to her. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. If she can get you to kneel to authority, she's going to do it. If it's child support, you fear as a man, I'm going to child support. If losing your business, I'm going to I'm going to have you lose your business. It's, if it's keeping you from your children, I'm going to keep you from your children. If it's giving you a bad reputation, give you I'm going to give you a bad reputation. Because it fits my reality. My reality is delusional as fuck. So I will spin any narrative to make you look bad and to get you to kneel to my authority. Because nigga, who the fuck you think you is? Not listening to me? Not following me? Who you think you are? You don't have that right. Remember, in her mind, she have access to you. She has power over you. Because in a sense, in that relationship, you submit it. And you don't know it. That's why she feel like she has power over you. That's why she feels like she has power over you. Because in that relationship, fam, you submit it. And when you submit to a woman, she doesn't, she doesn't want that to go. What woman you know in a relationship or dealing with a man and you decide to walk away, she's okay with it. No woman is. No woman is. Woman cannot take a man standing up for himself and saying, I don't want to deal with you. Because now you're the bad guy. Now I have to spin a narrative to fit my reality, even if it's delusional. She got to do that. So you got to understand that. And it, comes, and it goes down to your girlfriend in high school. It goes down to your wife. It goes down to your side chick. It goes down to a woman's psyche in her mind. If you treat yourself like you're less than a woman, she's going to treat you like that. And she's not going to ever want to change because she benefits more with you in a submissive mindset. She does. The next one. The older a woman gets, the more she wants from a man. Understand when we're young and we're dealing with a man, what does younger women want from a man? Oh, we want love. We lean on that. I want you to care about me. I want to spend time with you. But the older she gets as a woman, the more she desires from a man. The more. Because she spread herself thin by dealing with many men. So she feels like everything she lost in those men, the more men she deal with, the more you got to pay. Understand when she goes into her first relationship, she's not giving and she's not asking for nothing. The, what she's asking for, you can't pay for. You can't pay for love. You can't pay for respect. You can't pay for loyalty. You can't pay for guidance. You can't pay for leadership. You can't pay for that. And that's what a woman desires when she's at a younger age. But the more and more and older and older she get with dealing with men, the more she wants from a man. That's why you get women that get to a certain age and she don't deal with you unless you make this much. She don't deal with you unless you drive this car. She doesn't deal with you unless you own this house. Why is that? Why? Why is that? Why is when a woman get a certain age, there's a certain type of man she will only deal with. But she's not dealing with that type of man when she's 20. She's not asking for that from that man when she's 25. She's not even desiring that when she's 28, 29, 30. But you hit those older years and that's when you desire and have a certain type of standard when it comes to a man. Because you done gave and gave and gave in your younger year with each man that you dealt with. So when you get to a certain age, you cut off a certain group of men. You're not going to even deal with a group of men if he's, if he's making less than your tax bracket. 
whatever you desire from a man. That's why you only deal with men that drive a certain type of car. You only deal with a certain type of man that dress this way. It's certain things that a woman desire from a man. Because she gets to a certain age, she doesn't have any love left. What is love? Following you, understanding you, embodying you, doing what makes a man happy in his life. She's not going to go against things you don't like. She's not going to do that. But she can't do that no more. She cannot do it anymore. But why can't she? That's the question. That's the question. Why can't a woman freely give love to a man if she genuinely love a man if she was if she had the same mindset when she was 20 25 30 why don't she carry that with her you know why because she spread herself thin and the more and more a woman spread herself thin for a man the next man gotta pay for the last man it, it's just like that that's something men need to understand from women. And you're getting it from your girl, China White. You ain't getting it from none of these other fugazi-ass content creators, right? You're not. So she's going to make you pay for the things she lost in the last men. Those last men took from me. Those last men used me. Those last men abandoned me. You got to pay. So in order for you to qualify to get with me, you got to give more. You got to have more. You got to earn more. You got to look this way. You got to drive this car. Because I'm more so leaning towards what I can get from a man. Because I don't want to spread myself thin because the last man I was with, oh, he burnt me the fuck out. I gave and gave and gave. As you should. But she did that and she regressed it. She regressed it. She regressed listening and following a man. She regressed that. So the next man she gets with, she makes him pay for what she lost in the last man. Do you understand that shit? Do you understand that? Because giving to a man takes away from a woman. It does. And the older she get, the gradual men she deals with more and more and more, they take more out of her. That's why I tell women, when you lay with a man, when you connect with a man, he takes pieces of you. And this is why you got women that's angry after a bad relationship because she's trying to figure out how to get it back. That's why she's so angry. But women don't really understand that. They don't understand it takes healing. It takes more than healing. It takes a lot of praying, a lot of meditation, a lot of self-awareness. A lot of that entitlement bullshit that women carry to the next relationship. Thinking, you owe me for the last nigga I fucked with because he used and abused me up. But instead of me taking accountability for the men I fuck, no, I'd rather push that on all men or I'll push that on you. You just pay for what the last man couldn't give me. Period. You pay for that. You got to pay for that. You got to pay for that because the last man... Spread me thin and took from me. He took from me and I don't have anything else to give the next man. So leading and rolling into the new relationship because every woman know I shouldn't be fucking. I should keep to myself. It's a healing process before I deal with another man. You don't have a gun in your head, bitch. But she does that. Because she feels like without a man paying and doing certain things for her, then she's she's not she's she's worthless. A lot of time you must be single. It takes a lot of reflection. It takes a lot of healing for a woman to go into the next relationship. But she can't do that because she's too entitled. She's entitled. She thinks you owe her something. She thinks it's your job to fill in those gaps that the last man left open. 
that's what she thinks. And that's why you got a lot of women that's broken running around this bitch acting like they are a healthy woman when they're clearly not. When a woman is study dwelling on the same man, the men have moved on, but she's still stuck in that mindset. You're hurt. Get over it. Take accountability for the men that you deal with. Simple, right? That's simple, right? No, it's not simple to her because remember, number one, a woman will change any narrative to fit her reality even if she's delusional. That's number one. So if you think that women today is going to take accountability for any men that they fuck and leading up to the next relationship, you got the game fucked up. Women are losing their fucking mind. And that's why I say we got to make a lot of things clear about a lot of these women that's running around this bitch. Because you know your girl China White. I'm going to break this shit down. When you a man and dealing with a woman and she's broken, you can't help her. You cannot help a broken woman. You cannot help a broken woman. The entitled woman. Because after she's broken from the last man, she used... That past relationship to fuel the new relationship, which you should never deal with a woman if she's fueled by her ex. She's fueled by her ex. So anything she talk about is going to go back to the ex. It's going to go back to how he did her. It's going to go back to how he used her. You're not going to hear any accountability on her on her part. Yeah, I know I was wrong. I shouldn't have dealt with him. No, you're not going to hear that. You're going to hear he did this and he did that. Because she needs you to fill in those gaps that he left open. That's a spiritual warfare. Because you cannot fill a woman's love cup when it's empty. Your ass will be drained and dry. And a lot of you niggas do that. You go into these relationships with these new bitches. And these new bitches drain your ass goddamn dry. They drain you dry because you're trying to fill up something she doesn't have. She's already on E. It's kind of like you on the highway. And you're trying to get to the exit to go to the gas station and the car stop on you. It's not going to work. you about five miles from the next gas station and you're trying to push that bitch on your own. The blinkers are on. And, the, you, you know, you're pushing this big-ass car trying to get it five miles to the gas station. You're going to be tired. You're going to be drained. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be outdone. You're going to be frustrated. And you're going to be stressed. That puts a lot of load on a man back trying to heal a bitch. If you want to, that takes time, energy, and effort. But many times, you don't really have that. Because if you're focusing on your money, on your purpose, on your goal, you don't have time to heal a bitch for my last ex. That shit takes years. And it takes a woman accepting accountability for the men that she fuck. Can't blame nobody for that, bitch. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about the niggas that you fucked. I don't want to hear about the men you open your legs to. Because if you're not willing to look in that goddamn mirror and say you fucked up, I don't want to hear you. But you would take a bitch and you try to be the man for the fucking job. And you find yourself pushing a car that's on fucking E. What does that do to your back? What does that do to your mind? What does that do to your spirit as a man? Can't be building bitches around here. Her love cup should be filled already with the tools the most high her mother and her father gave her. And she used that when she's dealing with a man. That's how a woman can bring peace to your life. She can bring some sense of harmony. She can, she can actually point you in the right direction if you need somebody to talk to. A woman has the potential to do that. She's wise. She's a nurturer. She can bring peace to the house. When people, when it's a lot of arguing amongst people, she can actually break down and see what the issue is and bring everybody together. Can she do that? Can she do that? Because if she can't do that, you're dealing with a woman you got to fix. Who got time for that? Come on now. You pushing a fucking broke down car trying to get it to the gas station. And we ain't doing that. Give me a second, y'all.
So, it is trying to push a broken car to the gas station. That is why when it comes to you and dealing and understanding different women, if she's cut up on her ex, if that man is have drained her dry, that is why a lot of women ask for things in the next relationship oh i don't want a man that doesn't make this much i don't want a man that don't drive this car because of the many men you have dealt with you have given to you're you're th you on thin fucking ice now that is why the older a woman gets the more she wants from a man the next one She asked the weaker man for the relationship. She desire a relationship from the weaker man because she know that's what you want. Many men want to be in a relationship and women know that. Men say that out in public, oh, I don't want a relationship. I would never be in a relationship, but behind closed doors, men want relationships. So if you the type of man want relationship, she wants the relationship with you. She's not going to desire that and force the other man to put her in a relationship because she know that man is hard to get. You have to actually prove yourself to him. Prove yourself to be the type of woman that in a relationship, you're loyal, you're respectful, you own your shit, you take care of your business. With that man, it takes too much work. With you, it's easy. So she put pressure on you. When are you gonna give me a ring? When are we gonna move in together? When are we gonna buy a house? When are we gonna do this? Because she's putting pressure on you because you're the weaker man. You're the weaker man. And, and with a lot of men, you can't tell them shit. Especially men that want relationships. I'm sorry, y'all, my chair. Especially a man that want a relationship. If you the type of man that lean on the ideal of love, you're a broken fucking man. Your own presence don't fulfill you. You being alone doesn't fulfill you as a man. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? You leaning on the bitch to get validation in something you get along with being a man with your own thoughts. A bitch can't give you validation. Your thoughts do. Your life do. Your actions do. So if you're the type of man that say, ah, a woman makes me, a, a woman puts me in the light of being a man, fam, that's not a man. That's not a man. And I have to always break that down. And you wanting to be with somebody that's a sign of loneliness. You, you're scared of being alone. You're scared. So if any woman come up to you, ask yourself, why are you always in a relationship? Why are you always in a relationship? You jump from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship to another relationship. You never give yourself time to get your thoughts together, to get your mindset together, to get your life together, to get your money together, to get your paper together. You don't ever give yourself that. But your focus is a fucking relationship and a bitch. Come on, I fam. We got to do better. We got to do better. Because a lot of you, you get validation from women. And your favorite content creator teach you that bullshit. That is bullshit. Your favorite content creator. Your favorite content creator gets and receives validation from Strax, hyenas, succubus. It don't matter. They do. And they teach you to get validation from a bitch. Because why the fuck they care about, oh, are you, um, I heard one content creator, oh, you, a woman approaching you is beta. Who gives a fuck? You ain't talking about money. You ain't talking about, about a man building his wealth. You ain't talking about, nobody, like, nobody ain't thinking about that shit. Pussy is easy to get. It's easy to get. Don't nobody give a fuck about that. That shit is taught in high school. That's some high school type of information. Look like young dudes. 
A man is building his character, building his status, growing his wealth. A lot of motherfuckers can't talk to you about that because they're not doing that. So when they talk to you, they talk to you about women because women validate them as a man. And you going through that, you make women validate you by how you talk. So everything you do is going to always be leaning on towards what a woman think, how she thinks and how she views you. That don't fucking matter. It's how you view yourself. How you wake up in the morning. How you live your fucking life. Your life proves who you are. You do know that, right? You know that, right? You know your life proves who you are, right? That's taught to you as a, at a young age. If you wasn't taught that, it's going to be hard. But that's a journey you must take as a man. Because a lot of times, y'all put away with the journey because it is hard. It takes discipline. It takes dedication. That's why a lot of men be on it for one to two months and then you be like, damn, I fucked up. I fell back into the cycle of abuse, of bruising myself. Because I don't want to do it. I don't want to take that journey. It's too hard for me, man. I just want to know how to get pussy, how I can get in a relationship with a woman and make my woman happy and live happy ever after. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. It does not work like that. Is your dedication to yourself, your dedication to your future, where you want to be at, where do you see yourself? That's where that comes from. So when it comes to a woman, oh, you know, I want a relationship with you. I want to be with you. That's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. Because if that woman wanted a relationship with you, she would do what needs to be done to be with you. What is she doing? I asked in my consultation, I asked men, what does your woman do to prove that she's happy to be with you? There you go. I cook, I clean, I cook, clean. There you go. That cook and clean and shit. Bitch gonna cook and clean when you ain't there. Bitch gonna cook and clean for the next nigga. Your ass ain't there no more. Bitch been cooking and cleaning. What is she doing to prove that she wants to be in a relationship with you? That's what I'm asking you. So that's why it's so easy for women to ask a certain man about a relationship. Because you're the type of man that say, okay, I want to be in a relationship. Okay, we're in a relationship now. It's that simple for you. It's that simple. Because you're the simple man. It's easy for women to run game on you because you're simple. It's easy for women to say, I like you. I want to be with you. I want to have babies with you. Let's move in together. Because you're going to give me that title. You're going to give me your last name. You're going to give me that car, that house, because I'm your woman. And you gave me that. So it's very easy for me to come up to you and say, I want to be with you. I like you. Let's be in a relationship together. It's simple. But for the other man, she can't do that because he has bars and chains and whips to get up to his damn wall. And even when you get to the goddamn wall to, to enter his kingdom, it's other things you must do. It's not just you looking pretty. It's not just you having a fat ass. It's not just you being attractive. It's none of that. It's do you fit in my life? Do she fit in your life? Do she fit in your life? That's how that goes. If a motherfucker don't fit into your life, they're not supposed to be there. They're going to cause chaos and confusion. Because that is not the right puzzle for the piece. That's not the, the right piece for the puzzle. That that piece is not going to fit. That piece is not going to fit. So if it's not the right piece to the puzzle, of course it's going to be all out of whack. Of course. That's not the woman that's supposed to be in your life. But she, if we go back to number one, a woman will change the narrative to fit her reality because she's delusional. Then there you go following her, co-signing her to be in your life because your ass delusional too. That's why you have a problem with the bitch you with now. Want to know why she talked to you like that? Want to know why she disrespect you in public? Want to know why she fight the kids, fight your family members, go to your job? Because you got the wrong piece in the puzzle. She's not supposed to be there. She's not supposed to be there. The peace fits. 
It fits. You don't have to force it. You don't have to do all that extra shit. The, the piece is going to fall directly in place. But if you're the domino effect, if you at the head and your ass fall, the whole goddamn domino thing fall. You the domino effect. So you allowing the wrong puzzle piece to fit in the puzzle. That's why you having those problems. Come on. A lot of you men need to wake up and understand a lot of times it be you bringing problem chaos and confusion to your own life you bring chaos and confusion to your own life and then you got nerve to blame the bitch the bitch is going by what you allow because remember you took the relationship she, a woman can't force you to be in a relationship. The man is the gatekeeper to relationships, and the woman is gatekeeper to sex. A woman choose who she want to fuck. But if you become that one hell of a man, you can also be the gatekeepers to sex too. That's a whole nother live stream. Not just women are the gatekeeper. When you become one hell of a man, you pick and choose who, what women you want to fuck. Like I said, your problems are different from that beta and that goddamn simp. See, they got to chase women. They got to get emotional women. But when you want hell of a man, you pick and choose who you want to fuck. Bitches be throwing pussy at you. Your ass become the gatekeeper of the sex. <laughs> you be top of the goddamn food chain around this bitch. Like the lion at the top. You be on at the top of the uh, lion. The tiger and all of them are on, at the, um, under the lion. You be at the top of the food chain. The hyenas at the bottom. They have no access to sex. They got to pitch, woo, kiss ass, suck ass, pay for ass, fly to get ass. They got to do the most for ass. At the top. At the top. And it doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter about your money. None of that matters if you understanding that you are a fucking king. That's it. Because we sense that. And we want that shit. We got to have that shit. We get high on that shit. It's like that power that you have as a king. We want a piece of that. You want a piece of that? I don't know how clear to make this shit for you. I need you to understand this. This is some real shit here. You only get it from your girl, China White. You ain't gonna get it by your other gay, fugazi ass content creator. They biting my shit. You know what I mean? They don't understand this shit. So, you put yourself at the top of the food chain, right? You put yourself at the top of the food chain. That's when you can dictate who you wanna fuck. So if the woman is the gatekeeper of sex and the man is the gatekeeper of the relationship, now we ain't talking about you that one hell of a man. We talking about right now you in a relationship with a woman. Either you married, either you got a girlfriend. I'm not talking about any of that shit. I'm talking about you gave her the relationship. So you do know you approve that. So that demonic, that woman of chaos, that woman that's causing confusion in your life, that woman that's doing all of that is because of you. It's because of you. You allow her. You allow her in your life. And a woman only get in a relationship if you approve it. We can't force you. We cannot force you to say, give me that relationship. The man does that. The man gives the woman the relationship and the woman gives the man the sex. That's how it is. That's from the most high. You can't get it's raw than that. So it, by you understanding that, who are you giving these goddamn relationships to? Because the other man, he ain't giving her shit. He ain't giving her nothing. She's just screwing him. And that's all he wants. The next one. You will pay for not being the man you promised her. But she's not the woman she promised you, fam. Do you understand? Women are upset with men because you wasn't the man for the job in the relationship. She's mad about that. She's holding you to this oath. But she wasn't that woman. You promised not to disrespect me. You promised not to lie. You promised not to cheat. You promised not to drop the ball when it came to the home. You promised to do certain things in a relationship you didn't do. Just because you have a hole between your legs. Do women actually understand how 
devilish they can be, how powerful her tongue is, it cuts both ways. It's like a sword. The most high, and a lot of women don't understand their nature. The most high even said, men do not argue with women. Women's tongue is like a sword and they say anything. A woman can persuade you to do anything. They can. They can. So when it comes to a woman, does she promise? When a woman goes and say, you said you wouldn't do this. You said you wouldn't do that. Bring up the shit she said she wouldn't do. Hold her to that oath too. Because a lot of women are delusional. They're delusional as fuck. If you're holding a man up to a certain standard, in order for you to deal with him, you had to be a certain standard. Do women realize that? You were cut different. That's why he chose you. That's why he put you in the house. That's why he gave you that car. Do you understand that? He did that because you were supposed to be at a certain standard. But because I made a mistake and I fell, you kept your end of the bargain? No, bitch. Because a lot of you hoes, y'all dropped the fucking ball. But because you got that goddamn hole between your legs, you been fucking and sucking so he can forget all the bullshit that you did. Come on, I. Can't tell me the bitch ain't doing a lot of fucking and sucking around this goddamn bitch. When your bitch do something wrong, she get on her goddamn knees and suck your ass dry. Making you forget about the disrespect she did. Making you forget about the money she spent. Making you forget about the woman girl trip she went on. Making you forget about a place she shouldn't have been. Making you forget about allowing her daughter to wear short clothes. Making you forget about her son outside smoking drugs and she, your son not supposed to have friends. So she get on the goddamn knees and suck your dick so you can fucking forget. Ain't nobody dumb. You hold her to the same standard. If she holding you to a certain standard, say, bitch, I hold you to a certain standard. That's why I fucking, that's why you was in my house. Don't let a woman get away with that bullshit. That's manipulation and that's gaslighting. Because if I can't fuck up, you can't fuck up. I'm human, bitch. I'm a human being. So you got a woman, but she's, She's putting you in this boat because a lot of women want you to be Captain Save a Ho. Let's just be honest. You want your man to be Captain Save a Ho. You know what I mean? You the hoe and you want him to save you. So he's supposed to forget every fucking thing you did. You're not perfect, bitch. But you see yourself as being perfect because you can manipulate him. And a lot of you men let the woman get away with just straight up bullshit. The fucked up shit she do. How she act, how she talks, how she carry herself, how she treat her children. She just a straight out disrespectful ass bitch. Then when she get around other people, she can manipul manipulate like your mother, like your father, like the pastor, like her co-workers. She put on this facade around them, but a straight up ass with you. Come on, I. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Because women today is full of shit. You are. A lot of women today are full of shit. And a lot of men may not even be thinking. See, this is the thing. You're not dumb if you get played. You're not dumb. You just don't fucking know. But if you get in this goddamn game today. And you walk out there in that world and still do the same shit. That makes you dumb. You're not dumb if you don't know. That don't make you dumb. That don't make you, you just don't know. Somebody ain't tell you, somebody ain't teach you. You never, you, you don't know. But you always felt in your heart, hold on. I feel this way. I, something is not right about this damn woman. Then you run across my goddamn channel and it all resonates and it clicks to you. You know why? You been knew that. You just didn't have that confirmation. That confirmation that confirmation that I'm giving you today, yeah. So a woman will manipulate and hold you to a certain standard, but you're not supposed to hold her to a certain standard. So if she fucks up, it's okay. No, you hold every bitch you deal with to a certain standard. They can never pull that with you. They can never, a woman can never pull that car with you. I didn't know you was like this. I didn't know you was like that. She only does that when you put yourself in a certain light and pretend and lie and be forgazy as fuck. Then she get upset and she want to take your goddamn head off because she felt like she was played. I was played. 
I was played. I I was played. You played me. But if she see you straight up 100 about your shit, listen, bitch, it is what the fuck it is. You ain't gonna like this. You ain't gonna like that. You're not gonna like this. It is what the fuck it is. She can't put you on no. She can't say I I see you put you on this goddamn pal. No, that's an excuse for her to dig off in your ass to make you feel guilty about some shit you did. And then your ass go, I'm sorry. And then you apologize and shit. Come on, I. Are you apologizing for shit you want to do naturally? You apologizing for shit you just want to do for you being yourself. Now y'all niggas apologize for being yourself. Come on, I. That bitch, bitch, you chose to fuck up, ho. Like, do y'all know what choosing is? Do y'all know what choosing is? Because a lot of cats out here don't know what choosing is. And when a bitch choose up, she know who she dealing with. She know she dealing with the most rugged cat. She know she dealing with the most thorough cat. She know she dealing with the most angriest cat. She choosing. And she going. So I don't want to hear that shit when a bitch choosing to fuck up. That's, that's bullshit hoes use tactics on beta males to get beta male an emotional mindset to feel bad for being a man. Y'all niggas feeling bad for being a goddamn man. Nigga, you got your goddamn dick stuck. You apologizing for getting your goddamn dick stuck. And let me guess, your wife or your girlfriend wasn't sucking your dick so you went out there and got it. Come on now, nine times out of ten, the reason why men cheat because of the lack of fucking sex y'all hoes give it. Y'all get in a goddamn relationship, y'all fucking one time a week. What the fuck? Then you get mad when a man go out there and find a bitch that's busting that shit wide open, bitch. Come on now, you ain't being a freak. You ain't sucking shit. You got to take care of that shit. If you want to be the woman that you don't want your man to have another woman, bitch, well, you got to be busting that shit wide open and sucking dick like a motherfucker. You ain't doing that. You ain't doing that shit. Then you get mad because he go out there and find a piece of ass. And the piece of ass, she busting it open like a motherfucker. And then you get mad. Bitch, you still in the house. You still driving the car. You still don't got to worry about the bills, bitch. And you still mad? Come on, I. Huh? We ain't doing that. A lot of you hoes need to wake the fuck up. If you ain't fucking your man, pleasing your man, girl, he gonna find, he gonna get somebody else. Come on, I. Huh? Like, a nigga got to bust his nut. The fuck? If a man is working, you take care of your business, you should not have shortage of ass if you want ass. It shouldn't be no shortage of ass. If you working, taking care of your business, taking care of your children, doing what needs to be done, you on your path journey, your bitch should not be denying you sex. Period. Bitch, you too fucking comfortable. And nine times out of fucking ten, I know you niggas taking care of your business. I know you paying your bill. Can't tell me you're not. Can't tell me you ain't taking care of this bitch. And, and, then, and then a lot of times they'll tell you, no, I don't feel like it. She don't feel like because she don't like you. She only benefiting from you. That's it. She only benefiting from you. When a woman don't want to fuck, fam, look, bitch be turned up. My grandma was fucking my granddad to the day he died. Old age, 80, 85, they fucking. Bitch always turned up. Can't tell me that shit. I seen it. I seen my mother do it. I seen this shit. So bitch tell you, I don't feel like it. Man, she fucking somebody else. She got a sex toy or she don't fucking like you, period. Bitch always don't feel like it when it comes to fucking you. And then there y'all go believing that shit. Come on, I, a bitch can't guilt, guilt shame you about getting some goddamn pussy. The reason why he got you in the goddamn house, bitch, was because he got damn pussy, bitch. Now you're now you acting like, oh, he need to respect your brain, bitch. No, I got you in that position, bitch, because you shot the fuck up. You didn't really think much. All you did was cook. You did what I said, and I put you in a certain position, bitch. Now I put you in a goddamn position, bitch, and you don't know how to mend the goddamn position. So, bitch, now I got to take you out of that position and replace your ass. Don't get mad, because then they get mad. Then you get somebody else that can fulfill the goddamn position. Now you didn't hold up your end of the bargain in the relationship, but remind that bitch. Remind her. That bitch, you didn't hold up your end. That's why I had to replace you, bitch. You got to keep that shit a hundred. 
Stop trying to spare these hoes they feelings. Because I promise you, when it comes to you and taking your ass down, they spare no expense on your feelings. They spare no expense on your money. They spare no expense on your name. They spare no expense on spreading rumors. They spare no expense on just spinning narratives about your ass. You got to just put it to her ass. Either you act like a lady, you act like you understand your position, you know your fucking role, or I treat you like every fucking body I run against, run, run into. I only allow people in my life I respect. Right now, bitch, I don't respect you. So you gotta go, bitch. You cannot get mad because now I see you ain't shit. Then she'll get mad at you because you realize that she ain't shit ass bitch. We ain't doing that. We, we ain't doing that. No, you ain't shit ass bitch. I realized that. Now I found somebody else to replace you. And I don't even want nobody to replace that position. I might just want some goddamn brain and go back to my house and be alone, bitch. So if she holding you to a certain standard, you hold her to a certain standard. We ain't doing that. Allow her to have that delusional mindset, that fantasy mindset when it comes to you because what that's going to do is just open doors for you. I see men saying, challenging women on their thoughts. Why do you care, fam? Why the fuck do you care? Y'all sitting there having debates with a woman. It's either she going or she's not. Stop forcing bitches to pick up the goddamn key or walk through the goddamn door. She got to want this shit. Y'all debating women on wanting you. Shouldn't she already want you? Why are you doing that? Let her have those goddamn make-believe fantasies of men. Because, fam, the reason why she don't got a man today is because of the goddamn ideology that she lean on. The ideology she lean on. And she tell the ideology to everybody. She tell that same ideology, any man she runs up against, she try to use her debating skills, the things she learned in college, the things she learned from her feminist ass mother and her beta male father. She try to have that same debate with you. And there you go trying to push your ideology on her. Bam, it's either she going or not. Why the fuck you care? You treat a woman the way she treat herself. That's it. You treat the woman the way she treats herself. She act like she's an independent woman. Let her be independent. Why do you care? That's not your bitch. She could be just sucking your dick. She can be just fucking you. She can be just flying with you, having a good time, a business partner. Let her keep that shit. Because the woman that comes into your castle, she it takes to you. She embodies you. It's kind of like, damn. Everything is so easy with her. It's like that when you find a woman that wants to embody you, that wants to be around you. It's easy like that. It do be easy. And it's fun too. The sex is fun. Talking with her is fun. Eating with her is fun. Going out is fun. All that shit is fun. Because she she she's listening. Stop trying to debate these goddamn bitches on their ideology. Who gives a fuck? I mean, bitch, I mean, you believe that that God, the most high is a woman. Okay, bitch. I mean, she still suck your dick, right? I mean, I mean, you're not bringing her in your home, right? The most high say there are wives and concubines. The concubines are not marriage material. <laughs> okay. Kings use them to have their sons. When their queen, the virgin wife, the woman that haven't been ran through, his queen, he, when a queen couldn't have a son, he used, they used concubines because they had those problems. When that, when that wife got a certain age, she couldn't bear children. If the woman that they married, the, the queen, if she couldn't have a child, if she was barren, if she like have had miscarriages, they will bring in concubines that had the potential, but no. Okay, they and they'll give them room and board. The concubines had their own room and board because they carried the king's son. That's it. So you do know that 
Her mindset don't fucking matter if she's sucking your dick. You do know that, right? If she, you know, blowing your top back. That that you should not try to force her to understand you. The bitches that want to be in your kingdom is going to understand you and follow you. Period. Period. It's not hard. Y'all got to put away with and see the reason why you always find yourself frustrated in debating these goddamn bitches. This is the reason why. Because you so bad want to be right. I want to be right. I want to be right. Fam, if you live and prove in your life and you trust what you do, you ain't going to try to argue with a woman that's less than you. You're not going to do that. You're not. You want to hear about like what she like to go and shit like that. You don't give a fuck about her politics views. You know what I mean? You don't care. None of that matters, bitch. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but you don't force that on, on a woman. And I'm giving y'all some gems to make things easier when you dealing with a woman. Let them women do what the fuck they do, man. They still sucking dick and they all fucking. They are. It is what it is. Women don't want to admit the truth. Let's be honest here. Women, you don't even listen to your man what he says. You just fucking your man and using him for money. That's it. And then you get around your friends and tell your friends how dumb he is. Let's just be dumb. Let's just be serious. Why do that shit? And that's just the truth. They don't want to admit that shit because they get tired of being with you all the time. So when they get around their friends, they be like, God damn, I'm tired of this goddamn nigga. I hope he give me money for these shoes. That's how wives talk about their husbands. Okay? So, the next one. Women have short attention span because a hundred men will be her clown. If a woman has men juggling balls, if a woman have men begging to go out, what does that say about when she's talking to you? Her attention span is going to be short. Either she's going to text you. And then nine times out of ten a day, women, they like to text. They don't like to talk on the phone. Because they be texting other niggas. It be like ten other niggas they texting. So they don't want to be on the phone with you. You know what I mean? Why be on the phone with you and she's texting niggas and sending her, sending them her cash out. And they sending her cash out and they begging to go out with her. That's why she don't remember your name. That's why she don't remember what you like. That's why she don't remember what y'all ate on the first date. You ask her something a woman should remember, she doesn't remember. Women have slow attention span because the men today, they're offering everything to her. She don't have to, you're not rememberable to her. You kind of blur in with all the other men. You blur, you kind of like blur in with all the other men. All the other men that she's dealing with are coming across. You kind of like the you kind of like fit in there with all the other men. That's why she don't remember your name. It's other men juggling balls that's trying to get her attention, trying to go out with her, trying to lick her pussy, trying to do any. And a lot of times it be some of the most ugliest bitches you ever seen. It be bitches that don't got their shit together. They got these that got a lot of fucking beta male sims coming at them. So they got small attention span. And when it comes to you as a man. And you want something real. Nine out of ten, a lot of these women are not fucking real. Either they're listening to feminine rhetoric, they're dealing with ten different dudes. They're not, they don't give a fuck about that wifey shit. Back, I could say ten years ago, women wanted to be wives. Nowadays, women talking about they they don't want to be a fucking wife. She don't want to be married. Today, women are saying they don't want to be fucking married. Because it takes, it doesn't, a, a woman with a small attention span can't be a fucking wife. That takes a, a woman that, she has to be a, the type of woman that knows her household. That knows her children. She knows what's going on in and out her house. Women today have fucking short attention span. They want to be online all goddamn day. You know, a lot of women want to be celebrities today. They don't want to be mother. They don't want to be wise. Do you understand what I'm saying, fam? 
So when it comes to you going out dating these women, she not going she going to see you as all the other men. That's why I'm telling you when you dealing with women, you don't put all your all into these goddamn bitches. Stop overthinking shit. Let sh let the chips fall where they may. That's that's going to cut out a lot of headache, a lot of pain, a lot of time and energy cuz a lot of times you be wanting it but it's not there. It's not there. You know what I mean? It's not. Especially a woman that's openly dating. Fam, those women be the worst. Them openly dating women. Listen, I'm from the South. We don't date. Women from the South don't date. If we decide to go out together, we go out together. But nine times out of ten, we cook. We go some... It's, it's not that dating shit. Like, it's, like I, I notice people in Northern States... They lean heavy on dating. If a bitch like you, she gonna fuck your ass, period. We don't even have to beat around the bush, nigga. <laughs> we fucking, we going out to eat. Let's eat together. Let's have fun together. What the fuck is this dating shit that this that y'all all talk about? Y'all all talk about that dating shit is just weird to me. Because the only reason why she's forcing you to date, because she already got a nigga she fucking. I did a live stream on that. It's on Patreon. This live stream will stay up though for the culture. Shout out to um Takeoff, man. That's some fucked up shit that happened, man. Man, that shit hurt me, man. That shit hurt me. He don't cause drama. None of that shit. Matter of fact, let me play that. Uh y'all know I had. Man, that shit fucked up, man. This a this a good man. This a good good guy. Good guy. Don't get into drama. Stay in this place. But I should tell you something. Not everybody around you is your friend. Not everybody around you is your friend. What I told y'all, I've been telling y'all this shit. That's why I say you got men on here that's acting like they for men. No, the fuck they're not. Cause a lot of shit I listen to is hate speech. You teach men how to hate themselves. I'm gonna tell you how. You telling men to lean on bitches. That's the man going to hate himself. Because the bitch going to put him in an emotional mindset and he going to think about killing himself. That's what I'm saying, man. You don't, like, it be your own partner. Be your own friend. It be your own friend, fam. Your own partner, fam, that hates you. That's why I say, for alphas and sigma males and masculine men, you live a lonely life. But you respect your, your lonely. You respect being alone. You're able to walk in the shoes and take that journey you need to take. That spiritual journey, whatever it is that you need to take as a man. Because that is a it's very lonely down that road. But you have to deal with your demons, your inner demons, things that make you weak. All that all that come together and bodied into one. You must take that. Because you get around motherfuckers, you can read the room like a book. When you got money. And you got to name it. Them, them men were celebrity. They were superstars. It doesn't matter he was around people with money. Those men might be jealous because of their status. Their status is really up there. You get around all these. You get, you, you're you around betas. That's why I say if you are if you are an alpha man. And I know men don't want to hear it. But it's the truth. The most high said alpha and omega. The beginning and the end. The alpha and omega. Right? When you get to a certain um, period in your life, you begin to see your friends and different men around you. You can see if they're beta or not. You can read the room. You have no business being around beta ass goddamn niggas. What I said in my last live stream, I did a live stream breaking down the beta. Breaking down the beta and the simp. Those men have the potential to kill you or get you killed because they're emotional. They don't know how to fight either. <laughs> you know, they always want to pull out a gun. So that's the emotional ass beta male mindset. You got to stay away from them goddamn betas. Right. The man didn't even have no son or, or daughter yet. You got to, you got to stay, even the young men. That tells a lot. The new men today are beta. They're not alpha. They're not men. Back when I was younger, you had to fight. Now they're like, come on now. You had to fight. But that did to show you. Uh, 
That just to show you, man, these motherfuckers are beta. They, they are an emotional mindset. So anything that pissed them off, they ready to end your life. And the man ain't even do nothing. And I think it was hate and jealousy. They, was, they hated. They were jealous. But see, envy, that envy and jealous shit never dies. A man will be jealous of you for years. And you will never know it. And it sometimes be your family member. So the next one, being a slave, what enslave a lot of men to women? This is slavery for a man when you can't stand in your truth because you're scared of what she thinks and how she feels. You are a slave to a woman. You are. You are a slave to a woman. You are a slave to a woman because you care about what she thinks and feels. So you're going to be walking on eggshells around your home in your life. That's being a slave to a woman. When you can't live your truth or say what you mean and mean what you say, you're being slave to a bitch. And a lot of men are slave to women. You're scared to live in your truth. You're scared to say what you mean and mean what you say. What's good since I see you in here? Shout out to you, boo. Shout out to everybody that just came in. Make sure y'all hit the goddamn like button, right? But you are a slave to the woman because when you are scared of saying certain things, doing certain things, hang around certain people, you become a slave to the coochie. Okay. Some of y'all niggas is slave to the goddamn coochie. Y'all slave to the cat. You know what I mean? Y'all slave to the goddamn cat. It is what it is. But if it ever get to a point and you got to ask yourself this. Damn, if I say this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seem like this. If I say that, I'm going to come off like that. You a slave to a goddamn woman. That means you will do and say anything to fit into her life, to see you in a certain way. So now you got a, now you juggling balls like a goddamn clown. Like on the list, I say on the list, um, women have short attention spans because a lot of men are juggling balls for them. Yeah, you become that. You become one of the clowns that's juggling balls because you can't even be your goddamn self. You just trying to please her and please her idea and the way she think of you. Then a lot of you men want to prove to a woman that you're different. In our eyes, you're not different. We Women feel like all men are the same. It's just different qualities about you. That's it. Women feel like all men are the same because women feel like all men break hearts. If you ever run across a woman and everything, she just lean on men cold, that bitch is lying and fake as fuck. She just lying to y'all niggas to get y'all niggas to co-sign her bullshit. Because I don't even say shit that appeal to men all the time. I'm a fucking woman at the end of the day. I'm not going to just like, all. Of, I cannot 100% lean on a man because I don't have a dick. Lean, like, lean on the, I like, I'm, I'm a woman, so it's certain shit I'm going to lean more towards a woman on. But you got bitches 100% say anything, say leaning all that shit on a man, and there your ass go believing what the fuck this bitch say. Because that's, that's what y'all niggas do. Y'all be co-signing bitches. I'm just being real about this shit. Y'all be co-signing these bitches, and the bitches be opposite of everything that they fucking talk about. Like, period. Like, you know what I mean? They be fucking opposite. Yeah, you know I mean, bitches talking about they believe in marriage. Bitches ain't married. Bitches talking about women should submit. Bitch don't got a man. You know what I mean? Bitches should be like, like that's what I'm saying. Like y'all niggas do that shit, but that's that's telling me you have a weak mindset because you still cannot, when it comes to a woman, actually see what the fuck she's saying. Like I said, re reading between the lines. When you read between the lines and listen to what a woman say, no woman on earth, not even your mother. And your grandmother and your mother love you. Even your daughter. They're not going to fully 100% tell you every fucking thing. They're fucking women. It's your father is the one that's going to tell you everything. The mother is going to keep certain things from your ass because she's a fucking woman. Not your father. Not your son. Your daughter is. Not your granddad. Your grandma is. Because she wants you to still see her in a certain light. <laughs> Do you understand me? 
But that's just her loving you and respecting you and wanting to keep that mask on so you don't see her as like the average drag or whore because she love you. But it's an underlining to how far a woman go for a man. And you need to understand that shit. And that's not bad. That's not dumb. That's woman nature at its finest. That's woman nature at its finest. I'm keeping this shit real. I'm just, I'm telling y'all, I'm putting everything I got down the goddamn table right now. You ain't going to get no bitch. Bitches be wanting to be the ultimate pride pick me. You know what I mean? Like, they want all the goddamn votes for all the goddamn niggas. They want validation. And even if they have a nigga, they want other niggas' validation too. Like, goddamn bitch your ass over there, greedy bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um... You can't be slave to how a woman thinks. Because I guarantee you, she's not a slave to you. She's not a slave to you, fam. She's not going to be a slave to you. No, she's not. A woman is going to tell you what she's thinking. She's going to tell you how she's feeling. But you, because you want that pussy, you scared to be yourself. So you become a slave to the woman. Just admit it. You got to admit that shit in your mind. You got to know that shit that you a do boy for a bitch. You got to know that shit. Or you will continue to be a do boy and you will still try to figure out why your luck is like that with women. You will still be trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out why this and why that because you have not yet realized that you are a do boy. You have not yet realized that you are a beta. Not a simp. You're beta. <laughs> simp and beta is two different things. You have not yet realized that that's why you're still having those problems over and over again. It's because you're a slave to a bitch. Just that simple. Look, let me tell y'all something. If, if, you know what I mean? I don't care about hurting feelings, fam. I don't care about that shit. It be them other content creators. They got to keep their subscribers happy. I don't give a fuck about how you feel. I mean, I really don't. Like, right, niggas and bitches. I, I don't care. Because if I kick my ass, I got to kick your ass too. If I kick my ass every day, I, I got to kick your ass too, fam. Sorry. So, so yeah, you a slave to the weaker vessel, fam. I'm admitted. You got to understand that. And that's why you have so many problems with the women that you fucking. Because you have not yet realized that you are the beta or the do boy. Or the cleanup man. You just, you're a cleanup man. Come on now. Some of y'all niggas like being the cleanup man. You just want the pussy. The next one. Women believe that you must bow down to her because without her, you're nothing. believe that you need her that's how women today think about men men think I mean women think you need her to survive that's what I'm telling women y'all want to change tires y'all like you want to learn how to life like you want to you want to, if you got a leak in your roof, you want to go up to the top and try to fix that shit? If your dough fall off the hinges, you want to fix that shit? You a masculine bitch. I'm not. I hear women teaching masculine content for women. That's not, that's not teaching women how to be independent. I don't want, I know. I'm not doing that shit. My job is to be home all goddamn day in the AC. <laughs> okay? With the kids. Nurturing the children. You know what I mean? Breast, breastfeeding little Jimmy. You know? I'm breastfeeding Jimmy. I, I'm, I don't give a fuck about... You know what I mean? I'm, changing, I'm not changing no goddamn tire. I'm not trying to fix a broken mailbox. I ain't trying to fix no goddamn leaky roof. I ain't trying to cut no goddamn grass. I'm not trying to change the oil on my goddamn car. That's you, bitch, not me. We're different. Like, that's like the ugly bitch syndrome. 
you you was told that you was ugly. See, all you have to do as a woman is listen to a man and follow his leadership and you get what you want. It's that simple. But for some women, that's too hard. Because either your mama was a feminist masculine bitch and she teaching y'all to be feminist masculine ass bitches because she was hurt by her man. She was fucked up. Your daddy was thuggo. And that's her excuse for treating all men, putting all men in the same fucking bucket. Because she think all men is fucking thuggo and Pookie and Ray Ray or Big Dick Rodney. Like a lot of you hoes, your daddy was Big Dick Rodney. You don't even fucking know it. But she tell you he was a good man. But she had to cut his ass loose and become masculine and, and act like a fucking man and be a man around you and teach you how to be an independent ass goddamn nigga. That ain't me. I would never tell women to do that shit. You have femininity. You have the power to get a man to be up under his leadership. Have his children and be a fucking housewife. I mean, what the fuck? What, what do you want to do, bitch? Let's be honest. You want to bust that shit wide open on the pole, bitch. But because I see that, you get mad. See, women want other women to be delusional. You don't, Women don't tell women the fucking truth. I don't want to change no fucking tire. Don't teach me how to be an independent ass bitch. Because I'm not. You know what I mean? I like sucking dick. You know what I mean? I don't got a problem with it. You know? I like riding dick. I like cooking steak. You know? I like being home all the goddamn time. I heard a bitch say, you need to get outside the house trying to write something wrong with you. Why, bitch? Because I ain't in the street. I can be home all goddamn day for the rest of my goddamn life. Because that's the lifestyle that I live. I don't be in the street. I don't get sun. I don't got all that sun. I got, I'm fucking, my skin's so motherfucking soft and beautiful. I'm not in the goddamn heat like you whores. You whores are out there busting that shit wide open and you don't have a man and you mad at me because I can be home all goddamn day with my goddamn churn, bitch. That's the way the most high intended it to be. Your ass not supposed to be in the world. In the world is full of wolves. But see, y'all ain't going to realize it to the end time. Because in the end time, you're going to need to understand how to catch fish, catch food, build a tent, build fire. Your protection must be there. You are going to be at the bottom of the food chain in the end time. We already in the end time in the last days. You're going to be at the bottom of the food chain. You're going to just get picked up and get done in. It ain't going to be no more moral statue for your ass no more. But you don't understand that. You don't get it. Seven women would cling to one man. The most high said that. So the most high was wrong, right? They're going to turn it around and say, oh, no, the most high is not a man. The most high is a woman that's fake. But everything that's been prophesied in that book. It's happening today. It's happening today. It's happening today. So you can't tell me shit. I don't want to hear that shit. So if you women want to go out there and be fucking men with beers and shit, because let's be honest, a lot of these women got big ass clicks like dicks. They do. A lot of these women, they got big clicks like dick, and they want to get the feminine woman to be a fucking man. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that shit. You do that. that. That was your calling. It was never your calling to be a mother. You just fucking shitted out kids. That don't make you a fucking mother. I'm so fucking tired of these women believing because they shitted out kids, their mother. No, the fuck you're not a mother. A mother is a nurturer. And a mother teach her daughter. And a mother can actually teach her son. You're not a mother. You're not. You just shit it out, children. That does not make you a mother. That don't make you a mother, bitch. The fuck? You, you, you burying demons. You don't even know who the baby daddy is. You lying, talking about it's your husband, but it's not, bitch. Come on, now, me and you both know that you've been ran through. A bitch got two baby daddies is a nasty ass bitch. I'm sorry. Y'all women can get mad with me all you want. You're not supposed to have all those goddamn baby daddies. After the first one, get your tooth tied. Sorry. That's too much nigga. That's too much men polluting your goddamn, uh, your, your, your goddamn 
uterus. Your uterus been ran through, bitch. Then y'all get mad. Y'all get upset because y'all uterus been ran through. Come on, now. It's, you open your leg to Pookie Thug O Ray Ray and Tyrone and Big Dick Rodney. The new man you're dealing with now didn't do that. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. You did. Now you're mad. Bitch, you been married before? Got about three baby daddies. Come on now, bitch. You know you ain't shit. That's why you trying to take up the independent mindset, bitch. You can't afford to be a fucking wife. Come on. A lot of you can't afford to be wives. Let's keep it on it. A lot of women cannot afford to be fucking wives. You think you can because that goddamn hole between your legs. I, I don't respect you, bitch. What do you want me to say? I don't respect you, whore. Get your shit together. <laughs> Come on now. Get your shit together. Get your shit together, bitch. Come on, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear these bitches trying to be independent. Oh, my independent woman, I have a job and you don't. Okay, does that make you feel good that you go to work and I don't? Congratulations, bitch. Congratulations, you're independent. What? Come on, are you for women rights? Why are you trying to tear me down, bitch? I thought you were for women. Oh, no, I am for women, but I'm not for women that's not independent. There you go, bitch. Which one are you? Bitch, just be honest. You can't afford to be home like a bitch like me. You got to be in the street. You got to change tires. You know what I mean? You got to fight niggas off your kids and shit. You know, you have no protection, no leadership, no guidance. Now you're calling your uncle to change the tire because, bitch, you know you can't fucking jimmy up a car. Come on, now. What woman know how to jimmy up a car? You gotta be a fucking man looking ass woman to jimmy up a goddamn car. You bitches lying. You can't jimmy a car up. Stop. You bitches can't change tires. Then you act like you're so fucking smart. Why do y'all act like y'all so fucking smart? You're not smart. You just got a bunch of bitches to co-sign your bullshit. Okay? You're not. Your ass ain't smart at all. Because if you were smart, you would be in a better predicament than the other bitches that you helping, ho. You're not. You still fucked up like the bitches that you teach. Come on, now. <laughs> like. <laughs> ah. Uh, you teach your hoes to be independent like your independent ass bitch. And all of them, if anything, you know what I mean? They look like shit, too. You look like shit, and they look like shit. <laughs> like, like. None of the bitches that you teach look good. Notice how all the independent women have beards, mustache, guts, bellies, or they fucking old age. Like, bitch, you hit the wall. You know, for you, bitch, you better go against the goddamn man because you already know they ain't going with you, hoe. You look like a fucking nigga. <laughs> like, like, they try to get mad at men first. Oh, oh, I'm mad at him. I'm so mad. Bitch, let's be honest. What the fuck you mad for? Bitch, you might as well be mad at men, bitch, because if I look like that, I'll be mad at niggas too. The fuck? I like to just keep that shit a honey. You're not quiet. You're not submissive. You, you, there is no nurture in you. You, you want to fight all the goddamn time, bitch. You talk too goddamn much, bitch, and you ain't smart. You're not smart. Because if you were smart, you would have a man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It ain't like you saying, no, I don't want a man. I'm just going to stay single. No, bitch. How you say that? How can a woman say that? Oh, you know, I'm single, but you're using a sex toy? Come on, I. You happily single, but you're planning your pussy. Oh, bitch, you, you just can't find a man. Come on, now, let's just be honest. <laughs> you planting your pussy still with a dildo. You using the male body part to fulfill yourself, but you don't need a man. Make that make sense. I don't need a man, but I need his dick. So that, that right there just stempled that you do love Big Dick Rodney. Come on, now, I've been told y'all women love Big Dick Rodney. Women try to act like they don't love Big Dick Rodney. They do. Women love Big Dick Rodney because he's a fucking tool. He's the tool. So they like it. They love it. Y'all, that was my live stream. <laughs> I actually got more on the list, but...
I've been on here too long. I've been on here too long. I've been on here too long, y'all. I have. I've been on here too long, y'all, and I'm kind of drained. Y'all know how I get for you, girl, China White. This live stream gonna stay up. So make sure y'all hit the make sure y'all hit the like button. Bang that motherfucking like button. Bang my cash app. I hope y'all supporting the platform. 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. Support my goddamn shit. And I got videos dropping on Patreon tonight. Uh, fuck with your girl, China White. You know I love y'all. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. So until we meet again in this chat room, this your girl, China White. Bang that goddamn like button. I love y'all. Peace. Bye, y'all.